In this short, we will learn how you can add more columns into your flow run history. Most of the time what happen here is whenever you want to debug your flow, every time you are opening the flow run history and from flow run history, basically you are checking your flow content. Now let's say for an example, many times we are facing a problem that let's say I want to check my flow run for specific item number. So at that time I need to open my flow every time and need to do stuff on top of that. Now this new feature will resolve your problem. So now in flow run history, you will be having an option edit columns. When you click on this edit columns, you can see the different column name over here for your trigger. So let's say for an example, in my case, the trigger is when an item is created on employee review list. So all the columns available for employee review are available as a part of edit columns over here. So here I can simply add ID title, whatever column I need as a part of my debugging purpose. And I simply need to save it and it will show me the value like this. So I can easily check that if my title is taste two, what is the flow run? Okay. Similar way, if you just want to, to remove the column from here, just unselect it and click on save. Now, another important thing here is like this particular view is based on the user. So let's say for an example, if you edit two different column over here, then that doesn't mean that if you have shared this flow with some other user, they can also see the same columns. It is user based means if you have added this column with your account, only you can see those columns in the flow run history. Hope this tip is helpful to you and that makes your debugging process faster. If you like this video, hit thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. So that's it for today. For any training consultation, visit my website and don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. With this, this is Truveen signing off. See you tomorrow.